Michaela Schifrin has done the unthinkable. She shattered Lindsey Vonn's seemingly untouchable World Cup win record, a milestone that defined skiing greatness for years. But it's not just the numbers, it's the way Schifrin has dominated across every discipline, proving she's a once-in-a-generation athlete. So, the big question is, has Michaela officially taken the crown as the greatest skier of all time? First, there's Lindsey Vonn, a name that doesn't just belong in the world of skiing, it dominates it. Over nearly two decades, Vaughn carved her name into history with 82 World Cup wins, a record-breaking number of titles, and three Olympic medals, including that unforgettable gold in the 2010 Vancouver Games. She was fierce, fast, and fearless, redefining what it meant to be a champion on the slopes. In 2019, Vaughn retired, and it felt like the end of an era. After battling injuries and pushing through pain for years, she decided to hang up her skis. It was a bittersweet goodbye, but Lindsay, being Lindsay, didn't fade into the background. This year, she shocked everyone with her announcement of a comeback. Inspired by legends like Roger Federer and LeBron James, she rejoined the U.S. ski team for the upcoming season, hinting at aspirations that might even include the Milano Cortina Olympics in 2026. It's like she's saying, I'm not done yet. Who's next? And it is uh, the great Michaela Schifrin chasing number 98. And uh, won seven times looking for that eighth World Cup when she does go with bib number eight. And then there's Michaela Schifrin, the prodigy who took the baton from Lindsay and sprinted into a league of her own. Schifrin's rise has been nothing short of meteoric. She's the kind of athlete who doesn't just win, she obliterates expectations. Starting with her first World Cup win at just 17 years old, Schifrin quickly became a household name. What's remarkable about her isn't just her consistency, but her versatility. She dominates in every discipline, from slalom to downhill. By the time she was 28, Schifrin had racked up more World Cup wins than most skiers could dream of in a lifetime. Now, you'd think there might be tension between these two powerhouse athletes, right? After all, how often do you see the old guard and the new guard on such friendly terms? But with Vaughn and Schifrin, it's different. Sure, there was competition. It's inevitable when you're at the top of your game, but it was never about tearing each other down. Instead, they lifted each other up. Lindsay has often spoken about how much she admires Schifrin's technique and work ethic, saying, she's taken this sport to places I couldn't even imagine. Meanwhile, Schifrin credits Vaughn as a source of inspiration, calling her a trailblazer who paved the way for her own success. Which brings us to the moment that has everyone talking, what Michaela Schifrin just did. It's one thing to inherit the throne, it's another to prove you belong there, and boy did Schifrin deliver. Earlier this year, she shattered one of Lindsey Vaughn's long-standing records, becoming the skier with the most World Cup wins in history. Let that sink in. Lindsay's 82 victories were once thought untouchable, but Schifrin didn't just break the record, she blew past it with style and grace. What makes this feat even more impressive is the way Schifrin achieved it. It wasn't just about numbers, it was about sheer dominance. She won across disciplines, showcasing her incredible versatility. Whether it was slalom, giant slalom, or downhill, Schifrin made it look effortless. And this wasn't just a lucky season. It was the culmination of years of hard work, focus, and determination. The fact that she, she didn't just break the record, but now she's you know gonna break 100 is, is crazy. But what really sets Schifrin apart is the way she carries herself. Breaking a record like Lindsay's isn't just about skiing. It's about stepping into a legacy and making it your own. And Schifrin has done that with humility and respect. She didn't just celebrate her victory, she honored the path Vaughn paved for her. In interviews, Schifrin was quick to acknowledge Lindsay's impact on her career, saying, Lindsay set the standard, I'm just trying to follow in her footsteps. Lindsay's reaction to Schifrin's milestone was nothing short of gracious. In a world where rivalries often turn sour, Vaughn took to social media to congratulate Schifrin, calling her the greatest skier of our time. It was a moment that spoke volumes about Lindsay's character. She could have been bitter, but instead, she chose to celebrate Schifrin's achievement as a win for the sport they both love. This moment is significant not just for Schifrin and Vaughn, 
but for the entire world of skiing. It's a passing of the torch in the most literal sense. Lindsay was the queen of the slopes. And now Michaela has taken the crown. But instead of overshadowing Vaughn's legacy, Schifrin is building on it, pushing the sport to new heights. I think if you look at it, it's the evolution of sports, you know. Um, we all push each other to break new glass ceilings and she's pushing it for the next generation. And What Schifrin did wasn't just about breaking a record. It was about redefining greatness. She proved that there's always room to grow, always another milestone to chase. And in doing so, she's inspired a new generation of athletes to dream bigger. Because if Michaela Schifrin can do it, why can't they? When you look at Michaela Schifrin's career stats, it's not just impressive, it's mind-blowing. This isn't just about being good, it's about redefining what the best truly means. Michaela's career win tally has surpassed Lindsey Vonn's iconic 82 World Cup victories, an achievement that once seemed unbreakable. But here's the kicker, she's done it across all disciplines. Whether it's the high-speed thrill of downhill, the precision of slalom, or the power required for giant slalom, Schifrin excels everywhere. That kind of versatility is rare in skiing. Most athletes specialize, mastering one or two disciplines, but Michaela, she's a master of them all. What really sets her apart is consistency. Over the years, she hasn't just been winning, she's been dominating. Imagine turning up to a race, knowing there's a good chance Michaela Schifrin is going to win. That's the level of excellence she brings to the slopes. She's not just racking up victories, she's smashing records. For instance, she's now the youngest skier to achieve so many wins and has claimed multiple World Cup titles in a single season proving she's not just here to participate, she's here to set new standards. Watching Michaela Schifrin race is like watching poetry in motion. Her technique is flawless, a blend of power, precision, and adaptability that few can match. Whether she's carving down an icy slalom course or gliding through a high-speed downhill, she makes it look effortless. But it's not just her skill, it's her mental toughness. Skiing is as much a mental game as it is physical, and Michaela's ability to stay focused, even under immense pressure, is a big reason she's reached these incredible heights. What Michaela Schifrin has achieved isn't just about skiing, it's about inspiring people across generations, inside and outside, the world of sports. When you think of athletes who have transcended their disciplines, Serena Williams in tennis, Michael Phelps in swimming, Michaela Schifrin is right there with them. She's shown that greatness isn't limited by age, gender, or expectations. It's about pushing past what's possible and daring to aim even higher. Younger athletes, especially women, are looking at Michaela and realizing that they too can break barriers. She's not just setting records, she's setting an example. Her journey shows that success doesn't come without hard work. But if you're willing to put in the effort, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Michaela has often spoken about her love for the sport, her relentless pursuit of perfection, and her belief that every race is an opportunity to improve. It's this mindset that's resonating with so many aspiring athletes. And it's not just about her wins. Michaela's humility and grace off the slopes make her even more inspiring. She's shown that being a champion is about more than trophies. It's about lifting others up. Whether she's encouraging teammates, acknowledging her competitors, or sharing her struggles, Michaela is proving that true greatness is as much about character as it is about talent. Lindsay may have retired, but her legacy is very much alive, and Michaela is living proof of that. Lindsay set the bar incredibly high during her career, showing the world what women in skiing could achieve. Her dominance, her work ethic, and her ability to overcome injuries laid the foundation for athletes like Michaela to thrive. What's amazing is how supportive Lindsay has been of Michaela's rise. There's no bitterness, no rivalry, just mutual respect. Lindsay has openly praised Michaela for her achievements, even saying she's taken the sport to places she never could. That kind of humility and encouragement is rare, especially in a world as competitive as professional sports. 
It's clear that Lindsay sees Michaela not just as a successor, but as someone who's continuing the legacy she helped build. Michaela, for her part, has often spoken about how much Lindsay's career inspired her. She said that watching Lindsay race showed her what was possible, and now she's taking that inspiration and running with it. It's a full circle moment. Lindsay paved the way, and Michaela is carrying the torch forward, blazing a trail for the next generation. Their relationship is a testament to what sports should be about. Pushing each other to be better, celebrating each other's successes, and leaving the sport in a better place than they found it. Lindsay and Michaela are proof that greatness doesn't have to be a solo journey. It can be a shared legacy, one that inspires millions along the way. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.